Hey, what's up? I'm Bo Freeland. I'm from Indiana. Um, this has been a blast down here in Florida. It's definitely a lot more than what I thought it would be. I checked it out on the internet. That's how I found out about it. I got an email. I was kind of, I looked at it and I was like, wow, I mean, that's tight. Uh, it's winter. We're playing baseball in Florida. I mean, uh, there's nothing better than that right there. Um, the guys were cool. The first day I all met them, I was like, okay, some cool guys here. And then I got to know them. I got to know a lot more about them through baseball, the baseball games. And the whole team just grew closer, like from the first day, second day, third day, fourth day. And it just clicked from there. Um, but on a serious note, Coach Maiden is a very knowledgeable guy in baseball. And I learned a lot from him on the baseball field and off in his little Maiden 101s. It was a good time. Um, I learned a lot about the next level, big leagues, college level, JUCO, all that stuff. How to find a scholarship, how to talk to baseball coaches. Um, just all around, it was a fun time here in Florida. It's a lot different from a showcase or an invitation you might get from a college saying, hey, um, there's an invitation and a camp that I like to send your way. It's on this date, that date, and it's $135 though. And so you're like, okay, I guess that's uh, that's cool. Um, you get there and you won't talk to a coach. They'll set you in a little squad or a little little level you do. Say you pitch and then you run your 60 and then you hit. There's no there's no time where you have with that coach that's like, okay, here's this problem right here you have, and they don't work with you. It's like an evaluation. And then after the camp is done, after the hour or whatever you spend just hitting and pitching, you get a letter in the mail, and it's got your sheet, like your 60 time, your pitching speed, your velocity. But there's no word from that coach that you'll hear again, like, it's just a lot different from here where it's one-on-one -on -one with Coach Maiden where Coach will pull you aside and tell you what you did wrong and what you need to work on. And the price, it's it's worth it for sure. I mean, I'd rather, I'd definitely rather come here than four showcases, which it, it's, 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 it's just amazing what, like, the differential from a showcase to this camp right here. Fun. I'm Bo Freeland from Indiana. Later. You got to know where they're hitting the ball to because you play defensively where they hit the ball. If they pull hitter, they hit, he came to you last time talking to the center fielder. He came to you last time talking to the shortstop. You got to know those things because you anticipate most likely that's where the hitter's likely to hit the ball where he hit it previously. All right, so you have to adjust. When you have left-handed hitters, the outfielders put on a full shift to the left while there's different shifts because you don't necessarily have a power hitter. You may put on a straight, straight shift, or depending on your pitcher, if you got a what's considered a power pitcher, they're not likely to pull them, so you may play them straight up. But basically, the outfield shifts to the toward right field when you got a left-handed hitter. The left fielder comes in. He plays a short left field. With a right-handed hitter, you either play him straight up or you play him to pull. With the left fielder play what we call a college outfield. The left field is your deepest outfielder because most of your hitters are going to be pool hitters and hit it far to left field. Center field plays medium to slightly deep. The right fielder, depending on the situation, will play more in on this level because most hitters are not likely to hit the ball over your head in right field going opposite field. And for a right-handed hitter, opposite field would be hitting it to right field. Now, you got a few good hitters that's going to come up there and you'll get burnt by them, but for the most part, you don't play that deep in right field because they're not going to hit the ball over your head. And again, baseball is baseball. Sometimes kids or hitters will defy the arts. But you shift according to your hitters. You shift in and out. You got a guy three, four, five, and you know, what should be your pop you go play them a little more deeper than your weaker hitters. I mean, look at a guy. When a little guy come up there, not too many little guys go jack the ball out the ballpark, so you don't have to necessarily play them deep. 
same way on the infield. When you got a right-handed hitter up, a left-handed hitter, the infield has to shift toward the right side of the field, which first base would play back. You cut your range down on this level when you play in. So you have to play back and back of the base. The second baseman moves over toward the hole, and the shortstop moves up toward second base. And then the third baseman comes in and play the grass because when you're coaching, my, here's my philosophy, here's maiden philosophy. You coach in practice. You manage in a game. You coach, you teach, you instruct. What we're doing now, you do it in the game, in practice. When you get in the game, that's when you put down the bunt, the take, change pitches, call the right pitches, and all those things. That's managing. When I'm standing at third base, the first thing I'm doing when I'm flashing my signs, I'm looking around at that third base. And if he's back, I'm going to do just what that man did to get their first run, drop a bunt down. Because if he puts it, didn't I tell you all yesterday, you don't bunt it back to the pitcher. You get it past the pitcher and the third base and back, he never makes the play, just like he did. So you have to play in to take the bunt away. And then when, on this level, the bunt is the element of surprise. You always, at third base, you have to play in with less than two strikes, and you drop back with two strikes because he's subject to bunt. So you take the bunt away. And that's why you got to be quick on your feet at third base because you got to be able to come in and get that ball if he dropped the bunt down or you get bunt. My name is Sean Wolf. Um, from Chesapeake, Virginia, and met the uh, Coach Maiden's Christmas tournament on his team. Um, the experience was uh, really good for me. I got to see what the next level looks like and what I need to work on, on my skills. And the trip, the trip was really good. The weather was really good. Everybody had fun. The teams, we even though we haven't played together, we were. We did really good. We played like we've been playing for like a long time, and the team was a lot of fun. Everybody was funny. The coach was funny. The team, everybody was just had a blast. I had a blast. I'm pretty pretty sure the team had a blast too. I found out about this program from my dad. He looked it up. 